Morning, Laura. Morning, Mr. Biggs. Up too early again, eh, Laura? It's always too early, Mrs. Wedge. <laughs> You're good. I'm good? You're free to go. A line is forming. Any luck today? She said I was good. She said you were good? Yeah. At? Well, you know, out of context, it could have been anything, really. And in context? You know, uh, I was good to go. You know, it's a word. Well, there's always tomorrow, bud. Yeah. Always tomorrow. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey, have a boring meeting with boring manager Rob. Rob say, Code monkey, very diligent, but his output stink. He's code not functional or elegant. What do Code monkey think? Code monkey think maybe manager want to write goddamn login page himself. Code monkey not say it out loud. Code monkey not crazy, just proud. Code monkey like Fritos. Code monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew. Code monkey very simple man. The big warm fuzzy secret heart. Code monkey like you. Monkey have every reason to get out this place. Code Monkey, just keep on working. See your soft, pretty face. Much rather wake up, eat a coffee cake, take bath, take nap. This job fulfilling in creative ways, such a load of crap. Code Monkey, think someday he have everything, even pretty girl like you. Code Monkey, just waiting. Now, Code Monkey say someday, somehow, Code Monkey like Fritos, Code Monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew, Code Monkey very simple man, with big warm fuzzy secret heart, Code Monkey like you. Good morning, Laura. It certainly is, Mr. Dak. Are you feeling okay, Laura? That's a clever way of saying I look terrible, Cheryl. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I'm just having a craptastic morning. Chin up, Laura. I'm sure something good will find you. Yeah. Like a freight train. You know, uh, freight trains don't actually come through here anymore. Is that right? Yeah. Um, the city decommissioned them a few years ago, so you got nothing to worry about. Do you always eavesdrop on other people? No, this is my first time. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, sorry. Idiot, idiot, idiot! Mail calls! Hmm. 
Made it to your desk in one minute, 34 seconds. No record! She was mad this morning. Why was she mad? Who was mad? Ah, your muse. The security lady. Laura. I know her name. Well, then use it. I can't. We've never been introduced, really. It'd be impolite. Well, she has every reason to be mad. Why? She's going out with the great Rob Kennesaw, lightning rod of all my hate. Wait, Cheryl didn't tell you? Tell me what? Dude, she got fired. What? Yeah, Rob fired her. Cheryl told me. Who the hell's Cheryl? Cheryl from Public Relations. You'd know her if you ever publicly related to anyone. Why was she fired? Kennesaw said that she was a threat to the office because they slept together. So we fired her so they could date? Hell no, they're not dating anymore. Would you want to date someone who fired you? I'll date somebody who fired you. Gentlemen! How are we doing this morning? Great. All right. Well, now boy, back to work, right? And Guy, you're working on that login page, right? Yep, yep. It's going to be perfect for this afternoon. Should sure think, Rob. I'd appreciate it if you called me Mr. Sure thing, Mr. Kennesaw. Mr. Kennesaw. Yeah, Code Monkey? My name's Guy, sir. What do you want? I had a question about the front desk. I overheard we're going to be having a lapse in security. <laughs> Who told you that? Cheryl. Leave it to the PR chick to be gossipy. <laughs> <laughs> we had to let a few people go due to budget cuts. Laura's time here is just on its course. Remember, productivity. I'm just saying, if it's true, somebody should say something. Hey, I agree, man. I feel bad for her. Yeah, in this economy? Sure. Yeah. She smiles at everyone. She, she's nice to everybody in the morning. She's beautiful. She deserves a better place. Remember that one time when she tackled the guy who was trying to steal all the post-it notes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like a yellow papery storm. <laughs> you know, guy, you're right. Somebody ought to tell her how great she is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why not you? train guy. Clocking out early. No. Just looking for a change of scene. Something like that. Well, yeah, well, change of scenery is good for you. What's she doing? Just fighting with a quacking cardboard box and losing, but I'm fine. Do you want help? Do I look like the kind of girl who needs help? Well, I heard about what happened. You heard what happened? And what, pray tell, did you hear? Some stuff happened. Some stuff? I need specifics Some here. Some stuff happened that that shouldn't have happened to you. And now you're being fired. Are you serious? It's already going around in here. Who told you, Cheryl? Samir. Who the H is Samir? The mailboy. That skinny white kid? He's adopted. So... Everyone knows? Well, uh, it could be an isolated incident. I'm sorry. 
I could come back another time. There isn't going to be another time, freight train. Do you want to talk about no, it? No, I don't want to talk about it! Gosh darn it, help me pack. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. You're trying to help me, and I'm being terrible. It's just a job. No big deal. I'm sorry for snapping. I just gotta get my mind off of it, you know? I'm trying to stay positive. <sighs> well, uh, teach me how to do that too, okay? What? Be positive? Yeah, uh... I'm trying, but I'd be puking if I lost this job. What? You can't tell me you like it here. I love it here. Please, I can tell you hate it. Really? Every time I see you, it looks like you're about to have a small tremor. Oh, well, that's just the caffeine. So, you notice me? Well, it comes with the job. I'm supposed to notice things. Usually someone with your posture indicates someone guilty or hiding something. Well, really? Are you hiding something? Uh, I, I mean, we're all hiding something. It's how we protect ourselves. I think people are like peninsulas. You know, they protect themselves on every angle except for one. It just takes that one thing to really get to know, you know? It's okay. I'm done being angry about it. Are you sure you don't have more in there? Yeah, I do. Why stress? I mean, it's like I said. It's just a job. Just like Rob was just a guy. It's just like all the other guys and jobs before today. And that's that. Yeah. Something my grandpa taught me. Stuff happens, and when it's over, move on. Well, your granddad seems like a pretty carefree guy. There's a tall, thin man standing in the shadows. When he calls your name, his voice is strong and clear. It's a dark and smoky place, so you can't quite see. Maybe I'll be a firefighter next. What do you mean? Well, I don't want to be a cop again, much less an office cop. But you're good at it. And I was good at being a karate instructor and physician's assistant before that. But you don't have a plan. Something will work out. Well, you. <laughs> What's your name again? Uh, Guy. Your name is Guy. It's a fun joke. Like Guy Masterson. Yep. Guy Ritchie? Guy Fox, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Well, Guy, 
I'm Laura. Oh, uh... <laughs> it was actually very nice to meet you, Laura. Ditto. Well, it was fun. Yeah. So, how'd it go? I used to think she was an island, but now I think she's a peninsula. So she talked to you? I think she likes me. Yeah, when hell freezes over. Yeah, well, you might want to put on a coat. Guy, did you finish that login page? I'm showing everything to the board in 10 minutes. Finish the goddamn login page yourself. What was that, Code Monkey? I said finish the goddamn login page yourself. I think you're great. You're beautiful. I, I want to kiss you right now. Well, don't say it, stupid. I kiss you right now? Yes. are not as fancy as the pair of very fancy pants that Mr. Fancy Pants will wear. When everybody's marching in the Fancy Pants parade, he's gonna pass the test, he's gonna be the best, the best in the terms of pants. He looks in every catalog, he shops in every store, cause even though he has a hundred pants, he wants some more, when suddenly he sees the greatest pants you've ever seen, and even though he knows it's gonna cost a lot of dough, he has to have the world's best pants. Say a little prayer for Mr. Fancy Pants, the whole 